Hello, everybody. My name is Jenny. Welcome to the Fort St. James Public Library Storytime. We would like to acknowledge that we are presenting today from the traditional territories of the Nakazali Wuten community. We're going to start off this morning with a hello song. For hello, we're going to bring our hands up to our forehead and salute out. And for friends, we're going to take our two little pointer fingers and they're going to hug. Okay? And we'll sing it through two times. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Wonderful. Well, hello, everybody. Can you clap your hands? Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Well, hello, everybody. Can you clap your hands? Clap your hands. Well, hello, everybody. Can you stomp your feet? Stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. Well, hello, everybody. Can you stomp your feet? Stomp your feet. Well, hello, everybody. Can you reach up high? Reach up high. Reach up high. Well, hello, everybody. Can you reach up high? Reach up high. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Touch your toes. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Well, hello, everybody. Can you turn around? Turn around. Turn around. Well, hello, everybody. Can you turn around? Turn around. Well, hello, everybody. Can you wave hello? Wave hello. Wave hello. Well, hello, everybody. Can you wave hello? Wave hello. Good job, friends. Next, we're going to take a trip to a farm. And on the farm, we're going to meet three animals. Okay, and I'm going to show you the sign language for those animals. The first one is a horse. For horse, we're going to bring our thumb up to our foreheads and we're going to put two fingers up. And when we make the neighing noise, we're going to bring our fingers down. So it goes nay, nay, nay. Perfect. And next we're going to meet a duck. For duck, we're going to take our two fingers and thumb and we're going to bring them beside our mouth and we're going to go quack, quack, quack. And the third animal we're going to meet on the farm is the cat. For cat, we're just going to bring our two fingers together like we're stroking whiskers. And we're going to go meow, meow, meow. Okay, we're going to make the gates of the farm. The gate swings open and the horse runs free. Nay, nay, nay. He climbs to the top of the apple tree. He falls asleep from the apples that he ate. Carry him home and shut the gate. The gate swings open and the duck runs free. Quack, quack, quack. He climbs to the top of the apple tree. He falls asleep from the apples that he ate. Carry him home and shut the gate. The gate swings open and the cat runs free. Meow, meow, meow. He climbs to the top of the apple tree. He falls asleep from the apples that he ate. Carry him home and shut the gate. Very good, friends. 
Now we're going to play a little game called Little Mouse. And we're going to try to figure out which one of these houses he's hiding in. So first, let's go through all of the colors together, okay? So we have purple and yellow, red, blue, green, orange, brown, and pink. So I'm going to show you guys how the game goes and we're going to use the brown house for our example, okay? So we're going to go, little mouse, little mouse, are you hiding in the brown house? And then we're going to check to see. Oh, he's not hiding in the brown house. Okay, what color house should we try next? What do you think? You think the purple one? Okay, can you say it with me? Little mouse, little mouse, are you hiding in the purple house? Let's see. Oh, no, he is not hiding in the purple house. Hmm, I wonder where our little mouse could be. What house should we try next? The pink one? Okay, do you want to say it with me? Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the pink house? Mm, let's see. Oh, no, he's not in the pink house. Hmm, I wonder where little mouse could be hiding. Let's try the green house. Let's see it all together. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the green house? Let's check. Oh, no, he's not in the green house. Hmm, well, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think we should try the yellow house next? Okay, let's say it together. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the yellow house? Oh, no, little mouse is not hiding in the yellow house. I wonder where our little mouse is. The orange house? Okay, let's say it together. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the orange house? Let's see. Oh, Yay, we found our little mouse. Good job, friends. We'll leave him there so he can enjoy the rest of our story time with us today. Okay, this next one is about opposites. So I'll sing it through once and then the second time you can join in with me. <clears throat> it goes, roly poly, roly poly, up, 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 up. Roly, roly, poly, roly, roly, poly. Down, 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 down. Roly, poly, roly, poly. Out, 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 out. Roly, roly, poly, roly, roly, poly. In, 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 in. Roly poly, roly poly. Fast, 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 fast. Roly, roly poly, roly, roly poly. Slow, slow, slow. Slow, slow, slow. Okay, we'll do that one more time and you guys join on in. Roly poly, roly poly, up, 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 up. Roly roly poly, roly roly poly, down, 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 down. Roly poly, roly poly, out, 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 out. 
Roly, roly, poly, roly, roly, poly. In, 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 in. Roly, poly, roly, poly. Fast, 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 fast. Roly, roly, poly, roly, roly, poly. Slow, slow, slow. Slow, slow, slow. Very good, friends. The next song we're going to sing is If You're Happy and You Know It. So if you guys want, you can stand up. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. Very good, friends. Two little hands go clap, clap, clap. Two little feet go tap, tap, tap. One little child turns all around. One little child sits quietly down. Friends, it is time for our book today. This book is written by Kristen Cooper, who lives right here in Fort St. James. She also painted all of the beautiful pictures. Are you ready to look at this book with me? My Northern Animals is all about animals that we would find right here in and around Fort St. James. So let's take a look. The Arctic grayling are colorful fish with very large dorsal fins. They love to eat insects, especially bees, wasps, grasshoppers, and ants. The bald eagles are great at catching fish. Their large feet have spikes called spicules and talons that help them hold the, onto the slippery fish. Black bears can survive without food for up to seven months over winter. They are also fast runners, running up to 60 kilometers per hour. Beavers' teeth never stop growing. They have to chew logs and branches to keep their teeth short. Bobcats are twice as big as house cats. Unlike house cats though, bobcats are great swimmers. Boreal owls use their hearing to hunt. They hear so well, they can locate a mouse running under the snow. Ravens are incredibly smart animals. They are also very playful and have been known to play pranks on people and animals. Ravens can also imitate many sounds like human speech. Cougars have strong hind legs and can jump almost as high as a two-story house. Fishers are very shy animals and are seldom seen. They are one of only a few animals that are able to eat porcupines. Flying squirrels like to come out at night and can glide over 50 meters through the trees. 
Grizzly bears are light sleepers compared to other hibernating animals. They may wake up at any time during the winter months if disturbed. The long-toed salamander can recrow a body part that it loses, like a tail or even a leg. Moose are excellent swimmers, almost right from birth. They can dive up to five and a half meters underwater to eat the plants that grow on the lake bottoms. Mountain chickadees like to nest in holes in trees. They gather fur from animals to line their nests and cover their eggs when they are away. Mule deer have a hard time walking in deep snow. In the winter, they like to stay in thick forests or on steeps, south-facing slopes where the snow is not too deep. Female caribou grow antlers as well as the males, unlike any other member of the deer family. Red foxes like to sleep with their tails wrapped around themselves for warmth. They also use their bushy tails as flags to signal other foxes. River otters can hold their breath for up to eight minutes underwater. They are very playful animals and spend most of their time in the water. In winter, the ruffed grouse dig tunnels in the snow to sleep and stay warm. They grow projections on the sides of their toes that act like snowshoes and these fall off in the spring. The Rufus Hummingbird has a great memory and can remember from year to year where a feeder is. They are very feisty and will chase off hummingbirds twice their size. When it's time to spawn, sockeye salmon travel from the ocean hundreds of kilometers upriver to return to the stream where they are hatched. A snowshoe hare's fur changes from brown to white in the winter. This helps it to stay camouflaged all year round. The trumpeter swan is the largest waterfowl in North America. It can measure nearly two meters tall when standing with its neck stretched out. The warts on a western toad are actually glands that release a sticky bitter fluid that can make the mouths and eyes of predators feel numb and tingly. White sturgeon can grow to be the length of a school bus and live to be a hundred years old. Wolves live and hunt in packs. The pack works as a team to catch prey that would otherwise outrun a lone wolf. The big paws of the wolverine act like snowshoes, helping it to float on top of deep snow. And that's the end of My Northern Animals by Kristen Cooper. Now we are going to sing a song about five little ducks. So I've got my little ducks here, but you guys can use your hands. Okay, let's count together. One, Two, three, four, five. Five little ducks went out to play over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only four little ducks came back. One, two, three, four. Four little ducks went out to play over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only three little ducks came back. One, two, three. Three little ducks went out to play over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. One, two, 
Two little ducks went out to play over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. One. One little duck went out to play over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 and all five little ducks came swimming back. Awesome, good job, friends. Okay, for this next song, I'll show you what we're gonna do and then we'll sing it twice together, okay? So we're gonna put our hands up high. We're gonna put our hands down low, our hands in the middle and wiggle them just so. We're gonna put our elbows to the front and our elbows to the back. We're gonna put our elbows to the side and quack, quack, quack. So I'm gonna go through it once and if you want, you can join in and then we'll do it another time all together. Put your hands up high, put your hands down low, put your hands in the middle and wiggle them just so. Put your elbows to the front, put your elbows to the back, put your elbows to the side and quack, quack, quack. Okay, one more time. Put your hands up high, put your hands down low, put your hands in the middle and wiggle them just so. Put your elbows to the front, put your elbows to the back, put your elbows to the side and quack, quack, quack. Great job, friends. We have come to the end of our story time today. Can you help me sing goodbye? So just a reminder, this is goodbye in sign language. Okay, and friends. Here we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, friends. We'll see you next time.